Now let's see how this uh, new feature can enhance our workflow. So for, let's start a new scene. And this is a model, that a very simple model that I created in uh, Maya, simple geometry. I just want to create a stitch. I'm just going to subdivide it this once. And I'll go to my uh, top view and say look through. So now I have a top perspective of my object. And I'm going to do here is to go to my filter. I'm going to go screen space. So this will give me the Z depth and I can export that as 16 bit. So before I do that, I'm just going to do a little thing here. I'm just going to resize my screen space so it's almost a square because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that as a stamp. And you can see the stamps are always a square or actually something, a circle that fits in that square. So what I want is this, when it's kit captured by the save image, it capture it as a square as much as I can. So I'm just going to get in here and this looks fine. I don't need to invert it. I'm going to say save 16 bit. Okay, image saved. Now I'm just going to adjust my screen again. And I don't need this anymore. I do file new. And let's get a plane. So what I can do now, I can subdivide my object as much as I want. Let's do more. And I use that as a stencil, the image that I just created. And I can simply model my stencil object or whatever that I created really quick really fast and here it is really quick or something else I can do is use that as a stamp so I'm gonna create a sphere so give it enough geometry to uh, displace properly just get my image and now I'm using this image as you can see it's almost a square that fits in and I use that as my stamp so I need to obviously adjust my brush I'm just going to reduce the uh, strength a little bit and create some spacing and create a steady stroke. You will see now it's giving me the stamps. And I can do that all day pretty much. So you can just create whatever object that you have that you want to use as a stitch or what have you. Or maybe if you want to think that you have a model, uh, let's say a brick wall and you just want to use that so you can create it really fast from Maya sorry from uh, within Modbox you don't have to go to Photoshop or anything okay another example that I'm just uh, preparing here for you is all I did is I imported one model that has uh, the brick wall and then I imported another model that has a sculpt of a creature here and I'm just putting the creature right on top of the model, the brick wall something like this right? So I'm just going to go now to the top view and look through and this is the look that I was after and I'm just going to activate normal map and as you can see now it just give me that normal map relief that I'm looking for and all I have to do is to do file save screen image of course you choose your size and this can be very beneficial in uh, game cr creation or something because what you can do after that is you can just create a plane and that would be the normal map that's going to be assigned to that plane. So I'm going to display this uh, my bump as normal. So I can do import my image. So again, this can be very beneficial for uh, game engines or uh, people who want to create uh, a very fast uh, normal map. All you have to do is just lay out the uh, the objects in your uh, viewport and just create a normal map out of that, and you can use it in your game engine. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I'm looking forward to talk to you more.